Hello guys, Darko once again with you, showing settings after calibration on Samsung's JU6400 series. To be more precise, this is a 48 inch JU6412. This model is available in Southeast Europe and as you can see it features silver bezel, 4 HDMI's, 3 USBs and of course Samsung's Tizen operating system. I'll jump to menu where you can see different picture modes, as usual with Samsung, dynamic, standard, natural and movie mode are offered. Your TV will come in standard mode, which is of course not really precise, too much blue and white balance, also uh, color gamut at native, which is more a bit more than Rec. 709 specs, so some colors may appear oversaturated. I suggest movie mode, which by default is even brighter than standard and natural. So I reduced backlight to 16 to get after calibration around 190 nits, which I find okay for everyday viewing. Contrast at 85 I reduced it because it was a bit too strong by default and uh, peak white was appearing pink. So with this decrease I got more balanced picture. Brightness 45, sharpness a bit reduced, although you can really play with this setting, increase it, decrease it depending on your preferences. If you want pure content without artificial sharpening then reduce it at least to 10. Color and tint without modification for Full HD content. If you want picture to be completely on the screen, select fit to screen either auto, which is by default option, or on. That way you will also avoid overscan. Now let's go to advanced settings. Here you see dynamic contrast off, black tone off, flash tone at zero. RGB only mode should be disabled, it's used only for calibration. Color space custom, so I had to adjust both primary and secondary colors because by default there was a bit too much green, green was oversaturated. So now you see individual settings for red, green, blue, yellow, cyan. And finally magenta. White balance. I already made a video last week while doing calibration on this particular model because 10 point white balance did not work. Uh, check that video, it's linked in the description for more details. So I did calibration only by using 2 point white balance. Good thing is that by default white balance is pretty accurate in movie mode, so you see only small tweaks. And gamma was increased to 1 to get it as close to 2.2 as possible. Picture options, let's see what we have here. Color tone also affects white balance, should be at warm too. Digital clean view and MPEG noise filter off. HDMI black level at auto works great. This is only important for connecting PC. Fill mode is for interlay signals. Auto 2 works just fine. Auto motion plus, this TV offers only judder reduction. And if you want to increase motion resolution, you have to turn on LED clear motion. This way you will cut more than 50% of peak brightness of the TV and also you can see flickering depending on signal type but you will get better motion resolution, much better than when this option is turned off. One other note, with LED clear motion you will also get doubling of objects. So this is this black frame insertion technique that uh, causes some objects to appear double on screen. 
And that's it. If you want to copy these settings to all inputs, just go here, apply picture mode, click OK, and then all sources. And that's it. So as you can see, it's not a perfect calibration because I could not use 10 point white balance, but still picture is overall nicely presented with accurate colors and combination of Samsung's good upscaling of SD and HD content to UHD resolution makes this TV a good choice for everyday viewing, but not for demanding movie lovers who prefer to watch movies in dark room environment. One of the reasons is quite low ANSI contrast, only 1700 to 1, and the other is lack of any sort of local dimming. So just as other Ultra HD TVs in Samsung Series 6 this year, there is no pure 100Hz panel inside, nor local dimming technique. Guys, thank you very much for watching. For any questions or comments, please leave them in area below this video or send me a message. And see you in some other video, hopefully very soon. Bye!